when you first walk in, we have our little shoe rack that we're working on organizing. I often throw mine on the floor. Um, I've sorted the most used coats in the front. This is going to be our active zone. The least used coats in the back, that's going to be our passive zone. I like to throw things on the floor, as you can see. So we've tried to start making hooks for things like Frodi's um, jacket that we take him out so it's easy to put away. This is our to-go area. So this is where I can put my purse when I get home. And these are all things that I need to give to people or that I'm taking somewhere to get rid of. Next we have our little bookshelf that we're organizing and don't really know what's going to go in there. It'll probably be more display than functional. We've taken down all of our art because we're going to figure out what to do with that later. Right now this side room is kind of where we're staging all the stuff that we either don't know where they go or we're giving away or selling. In our kitchen, we're trying to keep some open shelving and trying to keep stuff a little bit neat. We're working on that. We have taken down these shelves that we're probably gonna put some art there or put like minimal floating shelves. Um, I really like Frody's food and treats jars. They're nice and clean looking. We also started to organize under here we have little cubbies for our sprays and such. And what else are we doing here? We have, this box is where we put our dish towels that we're gonna wash. We have a nice cling wrap and our um, laundry detergent. We keep our bed in this little nook because it's the smallest space in our apartment. That way it makes it so, eventually the room you saw over there will be Daniel's studio. And this is gonna be my studio. So this is a nice space um, that's small and gives us the opportunity to have studios. So in here I have some boxes I've been using for organizing. Um, I'm trying to use recycled things for organizing, so I've been making some little shelves, and I'm not sure where I'm going to put in there, but I will figure it out. Um, over here, I'm working on a little box that I'm going to put um, dividers through it so I can hold paper vertically. I have my paper that I'm using for my stickers that I'd like to put in there. And then I just keep boxes out. These are my Goodwill boxes and this one's just like trash so that I can easily throw stuff away as I'm going. These shelves just have extra um, containers for organizing. I like using glass jars or bowls that I made. And then um, I'm just kind of mixing it up between plastic bins I have and boxes for organizing and then keeping the pretty containers to store out. I like little boxes and bowls because they're cute, but I don't want to use them as much for function because um, they're just really cute. I'd like them to be out and seen. This is my art supply area that I'm working on. We have um, notebooks that I have kept up in an active zone, so hopefully I use them. Things that I don't use as much I keep at the bottom, my passive zone. My friend Lauren gave me these nice containers to organize my thread. And right down here is a box I divided. So this side is plain paper, like scraps for writing, drawing. This is going to be some line paper for writing. That is my fire starter kit 
that I'm gonna be making. So in here is one of my favorite things that I worked on. Um, I made this little divider for some hair things and this little shelf. I don't know what's gonna go there yet, but this is my favorite part. Um, I need to see everything, otherwise I won't use it. So I took this pool noodle and used it as like an earring display so I can easily um, take them out and put them back in and it's nice and functional and beautiful at the same time. So that's what we're working on right now and I'll check back in with you once we get more going. See you later.